Well, see in the last lecture, uh, we have uh, discussed uh, reaction with oxygen. Now, reaction with water. See, <coughs> in the second group, we have uh, beryllium. So, beryllium, uh, this will not react, uh, I mean, uh, with water. Uh, even at high temperature means uh, generally if it not reacts with cold water then we are taking water vapor so beryllium it is resistant for water even at high temperature so no reaction beryllium no reaction with water with water even at high temperature at high temperature right magnesium reacts with boiling water magnesium reacts with boiling water hot boiling water so uh, the product is same magnesium hydroxide you will get and hydrogen gas right and uh, calcium strontium calcium strontium barium radium all decomposed with all decomposed with cold water cold water right so and the product is same so if we can write here m so m plus h2o normal h2o you will have m oh whole twice plus hydrogen gas so this is the reaction with water reaction with water so all uh, reacts with water except beryllium and uh, a specific condition for magnesium magnesium reacts with hot water and uh, calcium strontium barium even radium also reacts uh, barium radium uh, all decomposes with cold water right clear okay now see hydride so uh, in the second group except beryllium uh, all metals so except beryllium except beryllium all metals all metals of group 2 all metals of group 2 directly directly combines with with hydrogen and forms hydride forms hydride hydride so m plus h2 gives mh2 right so <coughs> directly you can uh, combine this and m is equal to magnesium calcium strontium strontium and barium right beryllium it is uh, beryllium hydride it is prepared by a reduction of uh, its chloride so beryllium hydride you can prepare becl2 with lithium aluminium hydride by reduction of uh, beryllium halide with lical plus alcl so beryllium hydride you can prepare indirectly there is no uh, direct uh, preparation of beryllium hydride so this is important and remember beh2 and this is very important point and mgh2 these two are covalent hydride covalent and polymeric polymeric right these are covalent and polymeric both and rest are and rest are salt like salt like means ionic hydride ionic hydride 
right so this beh2 and meh2 they are polymeric see uh, how this chain is formed so this is the structure of this right so this is the beh2 uh, hole n so here this is three center two electron bond this is also three center two electron bond because you know there are two electrons uh, in the valence shell of beryllium so uh, <coughs> one uh, electron uh, you can take here and one electron in the hydrogen so these two electrons will bound these three uh, nuclei and this is also three center two electron bond so this is uh, i mean uh, this molecule have uh, BH2 and MH2, they are uh, covalent, means they uh, form the covalent bond. There is a covalent bond between beryllium and hydrogen, and it is uh, what? Polymeric in nature, right? And covalent as well. Now, see, halides can be prepared, uh, halides of group 2. Uh, they can be prepared by direct uh, reaction of uh, metal with halogen or uh, with halo acid or uh, uh, carbonate, metal carbonates uh, on metal carbonates, right? So you can take metal plus direct halogen. You will have uh, MX2 type halide and uh, X is equal to F Cl Br and I you can take second method you can take M plus HX so MX2 plus hydrogen gas and X is equal to same uh, FCLBRI you can take any or uh, you can take uh, M2CO3 metal carbonate uh, and uh, HX so we usually avoid here uh, HF to take HF so X is equal to CLBRI you can take easily but uh, here you can take F here also you can take but uh, usually we are avoiding fluorine right so MX2 plus uh, H2O plus CO2 so these are the methods of preparation of uh, halides right See, beryllium uh, has uh, some different uh, properties here. So, beryllium halides are covalent. Beryllium halides, BEX2, they are covalent. One by one, we can uh, write here covalent, hygroscopic. Hygroscopic, right? And fume in air. fume in air right and fume in air due to why they are fume in air due to hydrolysis due to hydrolysis right so beryllium halides they are covalent and they fume in air due to hydrolysis so anhydrous beryllium halide cannot be obtained by uh, any method which involves the aqueous uh, I mean uh, reaction right you can uh, obtain here anhydrous uh, beryllium hydride M could be anything here M all metals we can take M is equal to beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium all you can take right so uh, beryllium halides can be directly prepared by this method but uh, anhydrous beryllium chloride cannot be prepared by the method which involves aqueous uh, right uh, aqueous medium so because of uh, this beryllium is heavily hydrated right so due to due to hydration hydration Anhydrous uh, beryllium halide BEX2 cannot be prepared, cannot be prepared 
prepared by the methods involving aqueous reagent. Aqueous reagent, right? For example, if you are taking uh, BeCl2 in aqu aqueous medium, so you will have Be H2O whole 4 and uh, then Cl2. So basically, this is the, uh, I mean, uh, BeCl2, basically BeCl2 dot 4 H2O. So this compound is basically exists like this. Similarly, if you take uh, fluoride BeF2 dot 4 H2O, so this will exist as like this. H2O whole 4 and uh, F2, right? So whenever you are taking any method uh, having uh, this uh, aqueous medium involved in the preparation of beryllium halides, you cannot prepare uh, uh, anhydrous uh, beryllium halide. And uh, you will get always get th this kind of hydrated uh, beryllium halides. And if you uh, wanted to prepare by heating this, if you want to heat this, if you heat this, so what you get, see, if you heat this product, so you will get BeOH whole twice, right, plus 2HCl plus H2O. So basically, if you are in the impression that uh, when we heat this hydrated salt, so water will escape out and we will get BeCl2 anhydrous, so this is, uh, uh, I mean, not possible. Because you know this oxygen forms, um, uh, I mean uh, this water of crystallization what is there that is chemically bonded with beryllium and this is called hydrolysis. This is known as hydrolysis. So basically this is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis. So here I think uh, I have uh, written here covalent. These are covalent, hygroscopic and fumes in air, right? Air means moisture is there, so if moisture is there, then you will get this uh, HCl fumes, HCl gas is there, which appears in the form of fume, right? Some uh, other methods we are using for the preparation of uh, beryllium halide, uh, right? See, some other methods of uh, preparation of uh, beryllium halides. For example, if you uh, want to prepare beryllium fluoride, so uh, you can heat this NH4 whole twice, NH4 whole twice, B, BEF4. BEF4. So if you heat this uh, compound basically, uh, so you will get anhydrous beryllium fluoride. Right, plus NH4F, and this you can prepare by reaction of beryllium oxide plus two ammonia plus HF. So these are the some effective methods of preparation of beryllium uh, halide. Right, beryllium oxide, ammonia, and HF. You can prepare this ammonium salt of uh, BEF4 uh, complex, right? And uh, here this is 2 plus, so this is 2 minus basically. And here 2 plus 2, 1 plus 1 plus, so this is salt, right? This is a salt. So this one method and uh, for beryllium chloride, uh, another alternative method we have from beryllium oxide. This is very important reaction plus C plus Cl2. So this you can prepare 700 degrees Celsius temperature. So you can prepare BeCl2 plus CO, right? And uh, BeO plus CCl4 and uh, 800 degrees Celsius if you heat, then you will get BeCl2 plus carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide to be CO2. 
So these are the some indirect method of preparation of uh, uh, chloride and fluoride of beryllium and in anhydrous uh, state you can prepare this. Now see beryllium chloride. If you take uh, beryllium chloride solid BeL2 in solid phase, so in solid phase this exists as a polymeric chain. Polymeric chain. See. So in the solid state, you have this type of polymer, right? And uh, uh, in the gaseous phase, uh, when you take uh, it is, uh, I mean, uh, heat this BeCl2 solid up to 500 degrees Celsius, so you will have BeCl2 dimer and if you uh, heat above 1200 degree celsius or 1200 degree celsius so this is becl2 monomer right this is monomer this is dimer right so in this way you can prepare dimer monomer by heating this beryllium chloride up to higher temperature right so this is the reason why uh, at low temperature this bcl2 uh, will not act as a uh, lewis acid or electrophile right so this is the reason why uh, at normal room temperature at room temperature BeCl2 not an electrophile electrophile right why because uh, in this polymeric form total uh, see here two electrons 2 electrons, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8, 8 electrons are there, no vacant orbitals are there. So how it can act as a uh, electrophile? So at room temperature it will not act as a electrophile. Okay. So this is a little bit about uh, halides of uh, this group and uh, rest of the halides are ionic means halides of magnesium. Uh, and uh, barium all uh, have the ionic halides and the ionic character of halides uh, increases from uh, down the group right the ionic character ionic character character of Highlights increases down the group. So from top to bottom, ionic character what increases? Clear? Okay. And uh, one more important property of uh, these uh, halides is that uh, formation of hydrated uh, salt, hydrated halide, right? So the formation of formation of halide hydrate halide hydrate tendency decreases down the group down the group right. So, uh, you know, for example, if you see MgCl2.6H2O, uh, uh, this known CaCl2.6H2O, right, and uh, BaCl2, SrCl2.6H2O, two two and BaCl2.2H2O, two right. So this uh, <coughs> this is basically due to the increase in size of uh, metal ion, right? So 
uh, and calcium chloride has uh, i mean this has the strong affinity uh, for water this is the reason why this is used as a, a dehydrating agent so calcium chloride uh, it is a good dehydrating agent Al although all can be used as a dehydrating agent but this is a good good dehydrating agent good dehydrating agent right although all can be used but uh, all uh, this is uh, this calcium chloride out of all this calcium chloride is very good dehydrating agent right because it has uh, greatest affinity to form the uh, bond with uh, uh, water molecules right now the next property is reducing nature so uh, as we know that uh, all the metals are good reducing agent all the metals are good reducing agent good reducing agent but their uh, reducing ability is less than uh, first group metals but the reducing property reducing property is is less compared to group 1 metals group 1 metals so if you want to write uh, e not value so although it is not uh, necessary to memorize this but if you want you can see uh, e b e 2 plus oblique b e this is equal to minus 1.97 e naught of mg2 plus oblique mg minus 2.36 e naught of ca2 plus oblique ca this is minus 2.84 and e naught of sr2 plus oblique sr this is equal to uh, minus 2.89 and e naught of barium 2 plus oblique barium this is minus 2.92 right so all are good reducing agent so which one is the best reducing agent among all these see 2.92 this is the highest so barium after that uh, 2.89 strontium then uh, 2.84 calcium and then magnesium and then beryllium so you can say that down the group the reducing nature increases right so uh, reducing nature reducing nature down the group increases down the group and you have a regular uh, order of this right good now see <coughs> uh, metal hydroxide if we take uh, metal hydroxides so all our uh, metal uh, all metal hydroxides are basic in nature right so basicity base basic strength strength and thermal stability thermal stability of this hydroxide thermal stability of hydroxides is like this beoh one twice then uh, mgoh one twice CaOH whole twice and uh, SrOH whole twice and then uh, BaOH whole twice. So the this is the order of uh, their basic strength and thermal stability. So barium hydroxide this is uh, and solubility also solubility 
solubility in water so thermal stability uh, uh, their solubility and basic strength all varies in the same manner for all these uh, hydroxides right so all are basic basic strength increases from beryllium to barium and their thermal stability is also increases and their uh, i mean uh, solubility in water that is also increases right now the next uh, property i am taking uh, of metal carbonates carbonates co3 2 minus so see all these metal carbonates are insoluble in neutral medium all carbonate metal carbonates carbonates are insoluble in pure water that is in neutral medium medium but soluble in acidic medium soluble in acidic medium and decomposed on heating so all the metal carbonates they will decompose on heating into metal oxide plus carbon dioxide right or no exception nothing right and uh, <clears throat> stability thermal stability down the group increases next important point is thermal stability stability of metal carbonates increases down the group down the group right so becO3 MgCO3, CaCO3, SrCO3, and then BaCO3. So this is uh, about the uh, thermal stability of metal carbonates. And uh, bicarbonates, they uh, do not exist in solid state, only exist in the aqueous medium, right? So bicarbonates, bicarbonates do not exist, exist in solid, solid, exist on, only in the solution, only in the solution, right? and metal bicarbonates on heating the same reaction as all of you are knowing that they will convert into metal carbonate carbon dioxide and water right so and if we are talking about the solubility of these carbonates so this is very important uh, solubility solubility of uh, carbonates carbonates this is decreases down the group so here solubility here thermal stability and heating effect so all aspects of these carbonates uh, we have covered here so becO3 this is most soluble then MgCO3 then CaCO3 then SrCO3 then BaCO3 right so in this way you can uh, I mean summarize the carbonates and uh, bicarbonates right now see complex formation so although this is not the characteristic property of uh, I mean uh, normal or representative elements this is the characteristic property of uh, uh, transient elements but uh, uh, some of uh, smaller ions of s block 
have ability to form the complex like beryllium so beryllium 2 plus beryllium 2 plus this has uh, this form a complex compounds complex compounds due to small size due to what small size right so the complex of uh, this uh, beryllium uh, they are uh, formulated as be4 o r6 right where r may be r may be no3 minus nitrate r may be acetate CH3CO format also benzoate also so these are the uh, I mean uh, well known uh, complexes of uh, this beryllium right and uh, coordination number coordination number is what 4 so complex compounds with coordination number 4 and uh, as you know uh, why only coordination number 4 is possible so be2 plus so uh, you have uh, here in the beryllium uh, if you see beryllium 2 plus so this is uh, helium core and uh, 2s0 2p0 so this is the electronic configuration you have 3 and 1 4 4 orbitals here so coordination number 4 you can get like right so basic uh, beryllium nitrate so if r is equal to uh, no3 then the compound is known as basic beryllium nitrate if here r is ch3coo minus then this is called basic beryllium acetate all have similar kind of structure so uh, i mean uh, see how the structure of this uh, basic beryllium nitrate uh, we can uh, draw this structure like this uh, O it is on the center and uh, B E is here, B E is here and uh, one B E is here right and uh, no3 is here between this one no3 is here between these right and uh, one no3 is here and uh, one no3 is here right and uh, yes BEO and uh, one NO3 is here so you can see here that uh, NO3 one two one two three right yes How many uh, B B E one B E two three and uh, one more B E should be there one two three one B E is here four B E four O O is this central and six one two three four five one more uh, NO should be there uh, between uh, these two NO3 right so now you can uh, check all have uh, I mean uh, coordination number 4 all beryllium has coordination number 4 right so
see one two three four one two three four one two three one two three four one two three four yes so quadrants number four he here it is uh, balanced right so this is the uh, I mean bonding here and all complexes have similar kind of bonding okay magnesium also uh, forms such some complexes and uh, the uh, most important uh, complex is chlorophyll right so chlorophyll chlorophyll contains magnesium mg2 plus and the coordination number is here 4 right so these are the uh, i mean complex compounds shown by formed by the second group uh, elements and uh, other compounds calcium strontium barium they do not have tendency to form the complexes right now the next property is that uh, second group metals metals of second group they dissolve in mercury and forms amalgam and delta h is uh, negative highly exothermic this process so basically uh, they dissolve in mercury metals all all metals dissolve in mercury and form the solution right now the next uh, property is that uh, all forms uh, metal sulfate of mso4 type type sulfate and the simple method you can use uh, by hydroxide if you take uh, hydroxide and treat with uh, h2so4 so you will get uh, mso4 plus h2o or you can take carbonate uh, or you can take oxide and you can prepare these sulfates so there is no issue of prepare, preparation of sulfate right see the solubility of sulfates decreases down the group the important point is the solubility the solubility of sulfates decreases down the group down the group right so you have uh, this order BeSO4 maximum soluble then MgSO4 then CaSO4 SrSO4 then BaSO4 and uh, these are uh, almost uh, insoluble right and form the precipitate barium sulfate well known precipitate white precipitate you will get right and the thermal stability thermal stability increases down the group right so thermal stability stability increases down the group So as all of you are knowing that uh, this sulphate uh, ion, this is uh, basically large, large anion. So if it is large anion and when you are moving from beryllium to uh, barium, size increases. So if size increases and sulphate is already large, so lattice energy will increase. So this is the reason why the thermal stability increases down the group, right? So large anion and down the group size increases so large anion large cation will give you the stable lattice and uh, due to the stability of this lattice thermal stability increases so beso4 this is least stable after that mgso4 then caso4 then srso4 then baso4 so in this way thermal stability uh, increases down the group. So solvency and thermal stability and uh, uh, if you uh, I mean uh, take metal sulfates and uh, if you reduce with carbon this reaction I have already discussed but again I am writing this so you will have MS plus carbon dioxide right. 
So sulfates can be reduced to sulfide with the carbon. Okay. Okay. Now see <coughs> nitrates. So all of you are knowing that the nitrates are all nitrates are soluble and uh, if you heat these metal nitrates MnO3 whole twice if you heat so you will have uh, metal oxide plus uh, NO2 plus O2 right half O2 so all the uh, I mean metals here they show this reaction beryllium uh, magnesium calcium strontium and barium so all have this general reaction so these are the general uh, properties of uh, these uh, I mean second group metals now if we talk about nitrite now see uh, all the alkaline metals uh, they burn with nitrogen and uh, forms metal nitrite of uh, M3N2 and M is equal to beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium. All, all the uh, means uh, uh, elements they burn and form the ionic. This compound is ionic, right? And uh, on hydrolysis, if you react this with water. So you will have ammonia gas, ammonia gas plus metal hydroxide, right? So this is the general reaction. Many times we have discussed this is an acid based uh, reaction, right? So uh, all will form this nitrite, but down the group, uh, the I mean uh, tendency to form the nitrite gradually decreases. So down the group nitrite formation this is a decreases right now see carbide carbide although uh, i have discussed a lot about uh, carbides uh, in different uh, i mean topic but uh, here uh, also carbide right so as you know uh, all of you are knowing that uh, beryllium uh, forms uh, Be2C type carbide, calcium forms CaC2 type carbide, magnesium forms Mg2C3 type. See, they all have uh, different, uh, uh, I mean, types of carbide. So, B beryllium forms Be2C type, magnesium forms Mg2C3 type, and calcium forms CaC2 type. So, these are the different carbides of this group right now see if you heat calcium plus uh, carbon so uh, up to 1100 degrees celsius so you will have calcium carbide cac right or if you take calcium oxide plus carbon so approximate 2000 degrees celsius this will give you calcium carbide plus carbon monoxide so these are the methods uh, in where you will have this direct combination uh, of uh, metal with uh, carbon and most important compound is calcium carbide here this on hydrolysis will produce acetylene and uh, calcium hydroxide and one more important reaction we have that if we treat this CaC2 plus N2 so we have uh, CaC N2, Ca, N, C, N, calcium, uh, cyanamide plus carbon and you know this calcium cyanamide this uh, on reaction with this is isostructural with carbon dioxide and this on reaction with uh, uh, water produces uh, what ammonia so Ca N, C, N, if you treat this with uh, water, so you will have CaCO3 plus ammonium hydroxide, means ammonia basically solution. So you will get this. And uh, if you treat this CaNCN, 
plus H2SO4 so you will have uh, NH2 CN plus CaSO4 right and uh, this is cyanamide basically this is cyanamide and if you take this cyanamide and hydrolyze this at pH less than 2, pH less than 2 or pH more than 12, right? So you will have urea, NH2CONH2, right? So this is very important reaction, okay? And uh, you know if uh, barium carbide similarly if you take uh, BAC2 and if it is reacted with nitrogen so you will have uh, BACN hold twice not BANCN right so this will not so this is this is the uh, I mean uh, reason why this is very interesting reaction that if you take barium carbide and reacts with nitrogen so you will get, get this right so these are the uh, general reactions of this group 2 elements